What's up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel of a Performance, coming at you live. Happy Friday, everybody. We're back. We're back. Going live. Feels really fucking good, honestly. Feels really, uh, really good to uh, want to go live, to want to, um, you know, show up and come on here and, you know, spit some value, spit some, you know, like motivation, um, inspire and, you know, help others uh, get closer to reaching their goals. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. As you guys are tuning in, let me know how your day is going. Let me know how your day is going. I hope it's been a good day so far. Hope you're crushing your goals. Um, but just in case you're not, just in case you're struggling right now, just in case something's going on in your day to day where you're not feeling capable, um, this is a pep talk for you. This is something um, normally I, I do pre week and pep talks every Friday in my private group where I talk to my clients um, about certain topics, hyping them up, you know, making sure they're staying on top of their shit, especially for the weekend, staying, you know, like feeling confident and things like that. So, um, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to do something like that for you guys. Um, just because this is something that I think a lot of you guys might need to hear. Um, because, um, you know, it, it, shit happens to people sometimes, <laughs> you know, I'm not special, um, in any way, uh, that was very much so proven that, you know, everybody gets knocked down sometimes. Um, you know, every, if you guys saw my post, you all know that I had some depression shit happen this week. Not fun. But hey, we're here, we're back, we're moving through it, we're moving on. So yeah, as you guys are tuning in, let me know how your day is going. If you're watching this later time, hashtag replay, let me know that you saw this. But let's dive into this. So um, also, before I jump into it, uh, I'm on Clubhouse now. I don't know if you guys know what Clubhouse is, but it's a cool app where after, uh, I actually forgot to turn it on because I'm not used to doing it because I just downloaded it today. But after this live, um, typically what I'm going to be doing starting next week is I'm going to be opening up a room. If you guys don't know what Clubhouse is, it is an app that basically just, you know, you can have like conversations uh, and discussions and, um, you know, listen in on, you know, conversations amongst people. Um, it's a cool kind of like way, the way that I want to use it is for like, you know, like live kind of like not Q and A's, but sort of like a Q and A after these lives that I do, where you can ask me questions kind of on the fly. We can discuss things openly. Um, and it's a pretty cool place. It's a pretty cool app. Um, thus far from what I could tell. So, um, find me on there. Um, if you don't have the app, you need an invite to actually join it. So, um, as I host more, I'll be sending out invites to people if they want to join. Um, but yeah, if you already have it, go ahead and give me a follow, but that's not what we're here to really fully talk about right now. What we're here to talk about is the fact that, holy shit, I had a huge, like humbling, like ego check, um, from this mental health shit this week. If I'm going to be completely honest, um, you know, my old identity, and I think this is something that a lot of people can relate to my old identity, uh, started to creep back into my life. Um, I wasn't as proactive with my you know, morning routines, my goal setting and things like that. Um, I was cutting corners during a very sensitive time for me um, in my life right now at this time. Um, and I'll go into that and I'll talk a little bit more about that um, in the weeks in the weeks coming. Um, but, um, you know, it's just one of those things that it was like, you know, almost like the perfect storm of things going on. And so um, I feel like a lot of us have been in that scenario at one point or another. And so, um, you know, when that happens, cracks start to form in that foundation of yours. And it started falling, it started forming in, 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 in the foundation of my, um, myself. And what happens when you get too many cracks and you're not taking care of yourself and you're not doing the things that you need to be doing, um, to be proactive about those things on a regular basis and you are cutting those corners. Well, the building fucking collapses, right? And my building fucking collapsed. Um, granted it wasn't like a giant catastrophic implosion or anything like that. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I fucked up. I'm going to be honest. I fucked up. Like we all fuck up from time to time. Um, I, and it just goes to show that like, I'm not special. Like I'm human. Like I am. Um, but guess what? Because when that happened and I recognize that and I've built and I've, you know, formed these disciplines and these skills and these habits over these times, I bounced back pretty fucking fast from it. If I'm going to be honest. And I feel really good about that. And that's what I want to focus on. Um, is that, you know, is that part of that, of, of, of what happened is that, you know, you know, in the past, whenever I have, I've had shit like this happen, it's lasted weeks, if not months. Um, and this time, yeah, I, I was kind of feeling it for a couple of weeks, but you know, 
honestly, like I feel pretty damn close to normal today compared to how I was feeling even just a couple of days ago, whenever it kind of reached its like peak low, if that's, if that makes sense, the low or whatever. Um, and so, you know, what did I do? Like, you know, like shit, like I bounced back. I was proactive about it. I got a fucking therapist. I got my nutrition on point. I started taking a lot more of, I started supplementing, um, certain like electrolytes and like vitamins and minerals that I could have potentially been deficient in. I didn't miss a day of any of my fucking workouts. I went to the gym every single day. Um, and, you know, like I may have had lower confidence with things right now. Like I may have that right now. And I, I may not feel like, you know, super, um, you know, on top, like on point with these lives. I may not feel like super on point with, you know, the words that are coming out of my mouth whenever I'm um, you know, writing down and making posts and content and stuff like that for people. Um, you know, I may be fairly uninspired still a little bit to an extent, like, you know, I may be disorganized and nervous and anxious about going live. Like I just talked about, like I, I may be feeling all of those things, but those things aren't who I am. Um, and guess what? Like, you know, those things aren't who I am. And those things are not who you are. If you're struggling with these things right now, like those things aren't you. They're just something that you're experiencing right now. They're just something that you're feeling, um, you know, and but on top of that, like I may be feeling these things. I may be feeling nervous about these things. I may be, you know, having these negative emotions and things like that kind of going on in my day to day, um, you know, as like an aftermath as I, you know, start to build back up my core confidence um, in a lot of these skill sets and things like that. But I am these, I, what I'm about to say is like, I am these things and you are also these things. I am fucking powerful. Like I am strong. Like I am a leader, you know, I am leading right now, like over 40 fucking clients of mine still, even whenever I was going through all that shit, like I was still showing up on a daily basis. I was still doing these things and you can still show up for yourself too, right? Like you can, you can still show up for yourself. Um, you are strong. Like you are fucking powerful. Like I'm running like a giant fucking business that wasn't shit a year ago. Like, and, and all like through this like giant storm that I was going through. Um, and you know what? Like I am capable and you are capable and you know, so are you like mom and dad, like, so are you busy ass workaholic working two fucking jobs going crazy. Like, so are you depressed motherfucker who's anxious and like fucking scared and not sure where, you know, what's going on. Like you are all, you are fucking capable. So are you broke college student who, you know, is eating, you know, gas station food. Like you're capable of this shit too. You are capable of conquering your fucking goals when it comes to your fitness and nutrition. You're capable of conquering all of these goals. Like, like, so like, you know, you know, like whoever, like, you know, if you've ever thought to yourself, like, I want more for myself, or I want to better myself, or I want to be stronger, or I want to be healthier, or I want to be a better mom, a better dad, a better student, a better, you know, son, daughter, whatever it may be. You owe it to your fucking self to do that shit. You owe it to yourself to have that happiness. Like rough patches are normal. Rough patches are normal. But guess what? It's called a rough patch because it's only going to be temporary. It's not going to last forever. It's going to be something that lasts for a specific amount of time. It's a patch of negativity. It's a patch of bad shit happening to you right now. But it'll only be a patch if you work on, you know, if you don't wallow in it. If you focus on trying your best to be proactive to get out of it. And if it gets to a point where, you know, you feel like you can't reach out to somebody because your voice is the is is the is the is the last line of defense to like help you get through that shit to seek help and to get help from other people. So, you know, like, you know, you are powerful in that sense. You have the control and the ability to, you know, regardless of how low or how bad it gets, you have the ability to get a way out and to find a solution. Um, you know, like you guys and, and gals, like, like you have like a fucking supercomputer in your, in your freaking head. You, you are, you, you are so smart and capable that you, you know, you give yourself so little credit, um, you know, like way less credit than, than, than you should be like, you are like freaking capable and you have a choice today to, you know, to, to make a difference in your own life, um, and to maybe make a difference in other people's lives. Um, you know. So, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest, like, you know, you need to ask yourselves, like, am I going to live a good life and to write a good fucking story, like a great fucking story for myself? 
or am I just going to settle for, you know, what I've been settling for right now, right? Um, and you know, I want you guys to know, like you can conquer that shit. Like you can get through it. You can break through, you know, what you're dealing with right now, regardless of whether it's, you know, a physical issue, a mental issue, a, an emotional issue, um, a financial issue, whatever it may be, like you can get through it and you can conquer that shit and begin to like embrace this new identity that you you know, are scared to, you know, fully embrace or you're tentative to get outside of your comfort zone to do it. Like, like, like this, if, if you do that and you do it successfully and you do it consistently, like that will be your new normal. That will be your new normal. And you will reach a place where you are a happier, a more healthy, a more fit version of yourself um, that you probably didn't, that, that the old you probably would have never even been able to imagine that you could have reached. Like, um, so, you know, I just want you guys to know, and like, if you do fall, pick yourself and get, pick yourself up and get back up and just like, keep moving forward. Like, it's not a matter of like, like, you know, and I want to say this, like, you know, people who are successful in fitness or nutrition or in life or in business or things like that, like, it's not that they don't fall down or fuck up or get demotivated or, you know, screw up or whatever it may be. It's just that they don't like stay down when they get knocked down. They don't stay down for that long because they've practiced and they've built up that mindset and that like mental toughness to get back up that much quicker. So those are the things that you need to be focusing on, like like fitness and nutrition. Yeah, they're like very, a very physical, um, you know, it's a very physical game, but like it's all mental at the end of the day, like you're not, and I said, I said this before, like the body will do what the mind wills it to do. Like, and if you're not willing your body to do the shit that you need to be doing to better yourself, like that's a mindset problem, not like a physical issue. So, um, yeah guys. So I hope that this was a little bit inspiring and motivational or like hyped you up a little bit or got you to like thinking about what you need to do and what you should be doing because you owe it to your fucking self because you are capable of this shit, whatever it is that you're trying to strive towards, whatever it is that you're wanting to, um, you know, become or who, who you want to become, whether that, that new you is, you know, a stronger, healthier version of you, or whether that, you know, version of you is like a kinder, um, you know, a nicer, more accepting, um, you know, individual, like, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be fitness or nutrition related, but you know, at the end of the day, like you're fucking capable of doing what you want to do. If you've ever thought about like wanting to do something to better yourself, like you can do it. You can go out and do it right now. You can literally like say like right after you watch this, you can be like, all right, I'm going to go fucking do that thing. Like you have that choice. You have that power to do that for yourself. So make it happen guys. Like if you want it bad enough, make it happen. Um, and at the end of the day, like, you know, you owe it to yourself. Um, so yeah, other than that, that's all I had for you guys for today. That's my live. Um, and yeah, so I'm back at it. I'm going to do my damnedest to go live uh, Monday through Friday again every day. Um, I might end up doing it at an earlier time because um, I'm still dealing with like brain fog and still dealing with just like feeling tired um, in the evenings. But um, and maybe I can go live earlier so that way I'm not as likely to like, you know, put it off or feel tired or, you know, less energized about shit. So, um, but yeah, guys. So other, other than that, that's my live. Um, if you got value from this, give me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, let me know, um, what you're going to do for yourself to better yourself because you owe it to yourself because you are capable of it. Like you may be struggling with things that are like, you know, negative right now, but you are not those things. Like you're just feeling those things. You're just experiencing those things. Um, and if you can experience like bad negative shit, you're also capable of experiencing good and positive shit. So um, other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be going, I'm going to try and fiddle with the clubhouse app and start like a room. So if you guys are interested in talking or doing some sort of like uh, q and A, I'm going to be on there for like five minutes to try and figure that shit out. And if you catch me, cool. If not next week, once I figure out how to do it properly, uh, be expecting some like, kind of like uh, panel discussion or like live Q and a uh, type of shit uh, on that, where we can just kind of shoot the shit, talk about fitness, nutrition, uh, you know, your dog, whatever it may be. Uh, but you know, ideally, uh, on topic of whatever the live is going to be about. So other than that though, guys, appreciate the heck out of you for watching. Uh, I've got kind of an announcement on Sunday coming at you. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it could be, uh, some sort, if, if you're watching this, it could be, uh, a challenge, some sort of challenge related, 
uh, announcements. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes peeled for that in anticipation for a fun challenge that I'm going to be putting on just as a heads up, just a little teaser, not telling you what all it's about, but it's going to be cool. It's going to be fun and it's going to help people uh, learn a bunch of cool shit um, in preparation for the summer. So cool. Other than that, guys, have a good ass rest of your day. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Stay safe and I'll talk to you guys later.